Hey everyone, so here we are with Man of Steel, and it's uh, basically a, a Superman game. And the idea is you have to fight lots and lots of uh, Zod's dudes. Um, and it, it's very Infinity Blade kind of style of thing, you have to dodge and tap and all of that. Um, the game plays alright, it's a bit buggy though in places, but you can see some really cool stuff going on, you know, where the, the environment really comes into play as part of the action. And you've got to dodge and obviously punch people and knock him into that. To bus and you know the gameplay is actually quite well done it's a bit buggy in places I've had quite a few crash bugs out of it and unfortunately it does get a little tiny bit repetitive um, you find sort of yourself over and over again knocking these guys into the same buildings and things um, obviously there we go hitting him into that again it's not a lot of variety um, which is a bit of a shame the graphics though it's based on the Unreal Engine um, so you've got a very graphically great looking game um, but the gameplay, a little bit dull and repetitive in places, which is a shame. Uh, personally, I think this is more of a free-to-play title. It wasn't really a game that uh, they should have attempted to charge people for. Um, if they'd have done it as a free-to-play game with some in-app purchases or something, I think it would have uh, been much more acceptable. But as it is, it's a pay-for title um, with in-app purchases as well, I think. And it just feels like a bit of a cash-in, really. But, you know, did we expect anything else but a cash-in, you know? Yeah, it might very well suit a few people, but it's no um, Death Dome. Death Dome is phenomenal. This just feels like a bit of a cash-in, not only on the Superman franchise, but on the whole idea of the Infinity Blade-style gameplay. It's a shame, but Superman Man of Steel is not a title I would find myself recommending to people to actually spend money on, I'm afraid. Um, I think it's, I say, it's a free-to-play title, this one, really, that unfortunately has been dressed up in a pay-for game. A real pity. I think this one would definitely work better as a free-to-play game with in-app purchases. I don't think I've ever said that before. Yeah.